Hello everyone. So as we might have heard, the London Underground's Piccadilly line is getting new trains. But they're delayed. And we're going to find out why that is. Let's get into it. The new trains are designed with modern technology and features, including walk-through carriages and air conditioning, which require careful integration with the existing, older infrastructure of the Piccadilly line. The testing phase has revealed issues that were more complex than initially anticipated, particularly in ensuring the trains interact safely and reliably with the existing track and signalling systems. The issues discovered during testing have necessitated a rescheduling of the rigorous testing program, further contributing to the delay in the rollout of the new trains. Some modifications and design changes are needed to address the issues identified during testing, which will be incorporated into all future trains. The first new trains were initially expected to enter service before the end of 2025, but the delays mean they are now anticipated to begin service in the second half of 2026. The Piccadilly line upgrade, including the new trains, represents a £2.9 billion investment programme aimed at modernising the line. But do remember, these trains will have air conditioning and fully walk-through carriages. The Piccadilly line is one of seven deep tube lines that have these. Well, at least not walk-through carriages. The other four underground lines are the subsurface lines, of which they all have walk-through air-conditioned carriages. The current lines that have these two things are the London Overground Lines, the Elizabeth Line, and the subsurface lines. So, at the moment, no deep-level lines have these. These trains are called the 2024 stock, and the current ones are the 1973 stock. The central line also has a refurbished stock, but they have been the 1992 stock. We don't know any other lines getting new trains. But when we do, we'll inform you about it. The DLR isn't a tube line, but I'll still give a little bit of info. The 2024 stock is being made in Germany, while the new DLR trains are being made in Spain. We don't quite know the release date yet, but we'll tell you when we do. So what do you think of the new trains? Put your thoughts down on my post. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. We'll take you on a deep dive through the new DLR trains next video. See you next time.